So, should World War II games return for the ninth generation of consoles? Yes, they should. They should be a staple of at least one World War II game coming out at least once every single generation of consoles. So let's talk about that because the ninth generation just properly started. Unless you count the Switch, which I guess it does start with uh, that console because the Wii U was the eighth gen system from Nintendo, so therefore the Switch would be the ninth gen. The industry has been a little screwy with that these last few years, especially when you throw the mid-gen systems into the into the mix, which are just uh, eighth gen point five. It's weird now. This this industry is weird. It's in a very weird place. Something happened in 2016, which caused us to go off in this very strange timeline within the industry, where there's been some good things, but some very bad and not even bad things. Yes, there's plenty of bad things now, but there's just like plenty of weird things going on too, but the one can the, the one thing I wish to stay consistent are World War II games. So, World War II games, we have had what two of them this entire generation? I think three. Like there was 1944, like from a few years back. Was that just PC only? I'm not really sure. You know what? Let's look that up. Okay, so it is on consoles, but. It doesn't seem that Battalion 1944 is really all that hot, considering its all-time peak is 16,000 with 9 players in the last 24 hours. Wow. Uh, wow. Um, moving on. Uh, what else came out in regards to World War II this generation? Oh, right. Uh, Call of Duty World War II. There was also Battlefield V. We saw how those games turned out. So yeah, it's, it's pretty safe to say that World War II games all in all have had a very great generation when we really think about it, you know. It, it's been a wonderful generation to be a fan of World War II games. I mean, hey, it, it definitely doesn't compare to the greatness of nothing but World War II games back in the 2000s. So yeah, that's how it is with World War II games. Not much now these days. But I still think that we should get some, and by that I mean I think it's time to get a proper World War II game. In other words, Treyarch, it's time for a World at War II. And I don't mean Black Ops 1. Yes, I know that that game counts as the sequel to World at War. No, I mean another World at War game that takes place during World War II, but different events in time than what we got in the original World at War, because a lot of things happen in World War II. That was a very uh, wild fucking time for humanity. It wasn't a good time. It was a very bad and wild time. So, um, yeah, uh, th there's a lot to explore with that setting. There's plenty we haven't explored outside of uh, the usual of Americans, Nazis, in some cases Japanese, in some cases Russians. Um, but th there are other factions like, you know, the Italians. That's something we could see. Albeit there isn't as much history there, but there's still plenty of history to work with with World War II nonetheless. In general, I just want another dark and gritty and gory World War II game with just all sorts of vile graphic shit where you're just seeing bl limbs blown apart. You're seeing people get fucking murdered, slaughtered. Like hell, throw in civilian casualties. Show us how fucked up and demented every faction is to a point. Sh show us, come on. Let's go how- let, let's see how fucked up and dark we can go with a World War II game. Show us the true horrors of war. That's what I want to see in a future World War II game for this generation, okay? We need a proper dark and gritty World War II game. Something that just fucked up and really shows how dark of a time this was for humanity. Something. Okay? As someone who is Jewish, I wouldn't mind seeing a few gas chamber scenes thrown in. Like, show us how fucked up it could get. Alright, movies do it, so do the same with World War II games. You really want to show that artistic expression with a World War II game? Then show the horrors of it. Y y you can't have World War II, a proper World War II mature story, without some of that fucked up, you know, shit that went on in World War II, because, you know, in general it's war. War is a bad thing. It's not good. It's terrible. And there's a lot of history... Us, uh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> I'm fucking up, you know, revolving around these topics. So yeah, just getting something like that for this generation would be nice because, 
man. <laughs> we we just haven't had a true. We we have not had we have not had a true World War II era banger in a very long time. Really, the last one I think was World at War, and that was in 2008. That was 12 years ago, over a decade ago. That was now two decades ago. That was on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. We're now in the Series X and PlayStation 5. That's a long ass time to have a true gem of a World War II game. And it's time for us to bring that back. Because gaming needs it. Okay? And don't hold back. Don't insert history. Don't revise anything. You want a true authentic gritty and dark World War II game? Show some real dark and gritty accurate shit, sure. It doesn't have to be completely realistic, you know. Suspension of disbelief is a thing. It seems like a lot of people forget to bring that into account because nuance just doesn't exist for a lot of people. But yes, it's okay for it to have some suspension of disbelief so long as it's authentic enough while maintaining what makes it so dark and gritty. Okay, that's something you gotta keep in mind. So just getting a World War II light, a World War II game like that again, that'd be great. I would love to see that. And now that I've said it in a video, and I've made a video about it, hopefully it'll manifest into a true reality. Because, look, Respawn Entertainment, it's cool that you're bringing back Medal of Honor, but a VR game alone ain't gonna cut it. Like, I haven't played Half-Life Alex yet, but I've heard nothing but great things about that game, and I do plan to play it once I am able to get a VR headset. You know, money struggles are a thing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm gonna play that at some point when I can, but even though I've heard nothing but great things about it, I still do hope to see a uh, proper uh, PC Half-Life 3 game someday. You know, someday. Just like how I hope to see a proper Titanfall 3 someday. I'm never gonna give up on that dream. Okay, it's been many months since that video, but I'm never giving up. I will never give it up. Like Rick Ashley said, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. You know? I'm never gonna desert you. I couldn't remember all the lyrics there, so I just skipped to uh, to another line. Um, so yeah, we we need another one like this. So someone out there, please get to it. Thank you very much. What are your thoughts, guys? Do you want a World War II game again? That's really dark, gritty, and just fucked up. Cause I do. Just something that goes even farther than World at War is something I'll be happy with. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for future content coming soon, as well as turn on the notification bell and set it to all notifications, and I'll see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.